Episode number 22, The Jungle Adventure. Our hero dog, Tannin, his friend, Pip, and the three musketeers had set out to capture the pirate known as the Blue Falcon when their ship was caught in a gigantic storm. Now dog Tannin and Pip are stranded on an island in the Mediterranean Sea. What do we do now, dog Tannin? We survived the shipwreck, but how will we ever get off this island? Don't worry, they'll send a ship for us, but we'll have to fend for ourselves till it arrives. I suppose you're right. I'm sure we'll manage somehow, but I'm not real happy about the situation. I mean, look at this place. It's not exactly Paris, if you know what I mean. Listen, Dog Tanyon, hmm? if I'm gonna last till the ship comes, I've gotta eat. I weigh so little, I might blow away in the wind. <laughs> well, then, we'd better go see what there is to eat around here. Right. As the shipwrecked pair walk from the brightly lit beach into the deep shade of the jungle, their eyes gradually become accustomed to their new surroundings, and what they had thought to be a gloomy, impenetrable mass of vegetation turns out to be a place of lush abundance, vibrant and teeming with countless forms of animal and plant life. Have you ever seen so many shades of green, Pip? I don't care what color it is as long as I can eat it. As Pip will soon learn, finding food is easy when one knows where to look for it. But they must be careful, or they themselves could become a meal for one of the hungry beasts that makes its home in the jungle. Whoa, stop, Pip. What was that? Ah, be a little more careful, will ya? It was only a bird. Sorry, it scared me. The only thing I'm scared of is that we won't find something to eat before I starve to death. I am just as hungry as you are, Pip. This place isn't anything like the forests around Paris. The trees here look so different. Well, where there are trees, there's bound to be fruit, I imagine. Mm. Mm. Hey, look up there, Dog Tanyon. Up in that tree on the left. Looks like something we can eat. Huh? Hmm. You're right, Pip, but how can we get any from down here? That's why I'm going up there. Mm. You leave it to me. Oh, food at last! <laughs> ready, Dog Tanyon? Don't let them hit the ground or they'll get squashed. I'm ready. Start throwing them. Pip? Watch out below! Oh! <laughs> Such a great idea. Hey, can we eat now? Be my guest. <laughs> this is always a great moment. The first bite. <laughs> what was that strange noise? It's disturbing my dinner, whatever it is. Be quiet out there. We better go take a look. Hey, wait a minute. I haven't eaten anything yet. Dog Tanyan. I'll be right back, my friend. Don't move from this spot. Wait for me. What's going on? <laughs> it's a monster with a tail where its mouth ought to be. No, Pip, I just think it's a poor animal that got stuck in the mud and can't get out. So that's why he was making all that noise. The poor thing was just crying for help. <laughs> Don't you worry, little monster. We'll get you out of there. This mud is like quicksand. Wait a minute. There must be something around here we can use. Hmm. These big leaves might be just what we're looking for. Oh. Uh. 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 He's bigger than I thought, Pip. He must weigh a lot. I don't know if we can get him out. Why don't you get behind him and give him a push? I'll try. All right, here goes. Well, what are you waiting for? Start pushing. Tell him to get up on the leaves, Pip. Show him what to do. Good idea. All right, little monster. Lift your foot and put it up here. That's it. Now come this way. Fine, fine. Just keep heading in this direction. That's the way. Just a little more and you'll be out of the mud. What's the matter now, Pip? This is no time to stop. Don't you want to get out of there? 
What's that, Dog Canyon? I don't know what that thing is, but I think that swim time is over. Huh? Ooh, ah! 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 Don't worry, Dog Canyon. It's just an overgrown lizard. I'll scare him off. Then do it quickly, Pip. He's getting closer. Hurry! Yeah. Ha! Right between the eyes. Try something else. A little rock isn't going to stop that thing. Hmm. <laughs> I'll teach that lizard a lesson he'll never forget. Ah! Ah! Huh? Ugh. This isn't what I had in mind. Ah! D'Artagnan! Hurry! That thing is getting closer! Hurry! Whoa! I'll handle this beast! Don't you worry, Pip! Poor dog, Tanya. Huh? What's this? The elephant has saved the day. Hey, where are you, Pip? Where are you? Can I finish my lunch now? Well, I'm glad we don't have to walk anymore, but am I ever gonna get to eat? You can see much more from up here, but I wonder where our friend is taking us. He seems to know where he's going. He's had a long day. He's probably going home. Is that right, my friend? Are you taking us home? I see. I agree completely. Makes perfect sense to me. Huh? huh? In the river over there. Hey, that reminds me. It's time we found some food. That beast just stuck its tongue out at me. Gee, Pep, you must be having a good time. You haven't mentioned food for quite a while, you know. Why did you have to remind me? I'd give anything for a piece of Swiss cheese. Ugh. Pull yourself together, Pep. Huh? huh? Hey! Could you stop over there by that tree, my friend? I can't reach it, Pip. Oh, 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 oh. If you put me on your shoulders, I think I can reach it. I'm so very glad to meet you. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Oh, oh. What is this? Huh? Pip, come down from there. Oh. You think those drums have anything to do with us, Dog Tanyon? Huh? 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. If he doesn't stop this pretty soon, I'm gonna get sick. Don't worry, Pip. I won't let you fall. Worse than the boat. Huh? Uh, uh. What a revolting huh? development this is, huh? Shh. Right, I should be quiet. They might not know we're here. We blend in so well. We're just two inconspicuous Parisians, a mouse and a musketeer cadet, dressed in bright red, sitting on a wild elephant in the middle of the jungle. Why, we'll never be noticed. <laughs> Let's get out of here right now, if not sooner. No, show them we're not scared of them. <laughs> be realistic, Dog Tanyon. We're completely surrounded. Oh, don't worry, Pip. Porthos once told me that if you're in the jungle and you hear drums, it's only a warning. You're safe as long as they don't stop. I'm so 
glad you didn't let them know we were scared, Dog Canyon. You've got a magic wand that can make us invisible. Very funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Looks like you had your magic wand after all. Abracadabra. Poof. <laughs> Having made their escape from the ferocious natives, our two heroes have accompanied their newfound friend to a lovely spot by the river. It appears that this is the elephant's home, and Dog Tanyon and Pip are happy to be his guests. As their host refreshes himself, they are taking a well-deserved rest and enjoying the scenic beauty around them. Oh, I'm tired. Those natives were like something out of a bad dream. It was a close one, but we're out of danger now, Pip. I hope so. Our friend seems to be having fun. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we jump in there with him? Sounds like fun. I could use a bath. Hmm? Oh, no. All right, you cowards, come on. Couldn't you wave that magic wand again and make us vanish? One for all and all for one. Though they are enjoying the company of those who have protected them from danger, Dog Tanyon and Pip must bid them farewell, for if a rescue party is to find them, they must return to the beach. Well, thanks again. My friend, it's been a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. So long. Thanks. Bye. They're one of the nicest families you'll ever hope to meet. Mm-hmm. You bet. After returning to the beach, Dog Canyon and Pip can see no sign of a rescue ship, so they rest for a bit at the edge of the jungle. Ha! Ah, I did it again! I hit both of them with the same shot! I can do it almost every time! Now watch! Hey, did you see that? What a shot! Is it a game? How do you play? See these little balls? I'll try to hit both of them. Watch. Huh? Hmm. There, you see? Hey, you're a good shot, Pip. Perhaps when we get back to Paris, you can teach me to do it. With pleasure. It won't take you more than two or three lessons to learn how. Where'd you get those little balls, Pip? I've had them lying around. They're very pretty, aren't they? I found them in the forest north of Paris that time we fought the Blue Falcon. They're not much to look at. Now put them away. We've got to look for that ship. Aye, aye. Just one more shot, and then we'll go. Hmm. Ha! After carefully scanning the horizon for any sign of a ship, Dog Tanyon and Pip have decided to try their luck on the other side of the island. My stomach and I have been talking it over, and we're both of the opinion that it's dinner time. Huh? Huh? Look, Pip, it's a cave. And I have the funniest feeling that I've seen one just like it somewhere. I know what it reminds you of, Dog Tanyon. It looks just like the entrance to that secret underground passageway to the palace. You're right, Pip. It looks more like a tunnel than a cave. <laughs> Whoa! I wonder what else lives in there. You can tell me when you get back. Oh, don't be such a scaredy mouse. 
At least the secret passageways back home are lit with torches. But this place is as dark as the bottom of a well on a moonless night. If anything lives in here, I hope it doesn't find visitors. Hello, anybody home? Look, Pip, sunlight! The, the way out! Whoa! Whoa. 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 One more step and no more Pip. Hey, look at that, Pip! Huh? Hey, it's the ship! We're saved, Dog Canyon! We can go home! That's not a rescue ship, Pip! Look at their flag! They're pirates! I know that ship anywhere. It's the Blue Falcon! Good. I hope you're not thinking what I think you're Come thinking. Come on! Oh, I should've known. <laughs> the ship is yours, Captain! Turn on the port side! Hold the mansion! Reef off the larboard bow! Pip, go up on deck and take a look around. This is crazy. The two of us don't stand a chance against that crew of cutthroats. I know that, Pip. My plan is to capture the Blue Falcon first, and then they'll all surrender. But first, we have to find him. My stomach is growling so much, they'll hear me. Could we eat first, huh? All right, then I'll go by myself. Don't do it, huh? Dog Canyon. It's too dark. <laughs> Blessed, and I can't untie this huh? Boarding party armed and ready, Athos. Ready, Porthos, just say the word. Why, it's Athos, Porthos, and Aramis. Yourself, Dog Tanyan. Hey! How can it be? Those are the royal jewels I lost on the forest north of Paris. Huh? Uh -huh. Hmm. Monsieur, uh -huh. by order of King Louis of France, you are under arrest. Throw down your sword. <sighs> Blasted musketeers! It's a happy day indeed, for the five of us are together again. We've captured the Blue Falcon, and what's more, we've recovered the jewels. Captain Treville may give us all medals for this. But now I can't play my game anymore. I know they're the royal jewels and they have to be returned, but I'll miss them. They were fun. I'll buy you all the little glass balls you want, okay? You bet. Excuse me, sir. Huh? One of these pirates says you know him. Hey, untie me! I'm no pirate! 
Why, it's Captain Whittemer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tyam and Guardian. It's time to return home, my friends. Hooray! Dog Tanyon and his friends are in high spirits, for they have successfully carried out their mission to capture the Blue Falcon, and they have recovered the royal jewels, which had been stolen from the palace years before and which were thought lost forever. Once more, the day has been won by those who believe in the musketeer's motto, second to none. For when danger is near and deeds must be done, they've sworn one for all and all for one. In our next episode, Dog Tanyon and the Three Musketeers become friends with a mouse named Peter, a distant relation of their brave friend Pip, who discovers that Peter is unwittingly being used by an enemy of the king to lead the musketeers into a trap. But can he warn them in time? <laughs>